one of two of my funny poems. I don't have a lot of funny poems. I mean, so my father does. She got books. I don't got any. All right, this is um. As funny as I can be. Pick up the hands. Yeah. You could be. So he stumbles over six foot six, clean cut, well dressed, and smelling nice. Mm -mm -mm. And he's honing and smearing on feist. He puts his hand on the small of my back and leans in to whisper in my ear, or at least he thought he was whispering. Baby girl, let me give you the best of me. He said I can make love to your body and your mind by licking you from head to toe and stopping between them thighs as I spread them lips. Manipulate that clip. Dig my fingers in your hips as I slide my tongue in and out of you, drinking you like red Kool-Aid. And then I find your G-spot and turn into a capital O by fingering you until you melt like butter, ensuring you that there will be no friction upon penetration. That's when I dive deep inside, pounding like a jackhammer till your cervix gets a black eye. He said, fuck a contortionist. I'll tie that petite body of yours in knots that even a shoestring can't pull up. Then he rubbed my arm, he's like, damn, your skin for song. Why don't you let me throw the legs over my shoulders, pin your knees to your chest so I can work you like a nine to five. He said, I don't mind doing overtime because I don't plan on stopping till this job is done. I'll be that one to put you in a figure four and pop lock inside you till your kidneys get sore. I have you begging for more. That's when I bend you over and grab a plug in your hair. I get harder still just from seeing that ass in there. And we go at it like rabbits. Hot and heavy till you get all sticky and sweaty and start calling me daddy and your body will lose all stability like a pile of grape jelly. Tears will roll from your eyes as you begin to cry out how much you love me. Wishing you had control of your limbs so you can jump up and hug me. Then he got real cocky. He's like, what you thinking, little mama? Don't that sound lovely? Oh, oh. <laughs> And that crooked smile and I took a gulp of my drink because y'all know I needed it. But I was glad for my chance to speak because it ain't always that a moron wants to know what I think and I replied first off. In order to make love, you must first be in love and I find it hard to believe that you are since you don't even know me. Now that we established that fact, do me a favor, next time don't put your hands on me. See, what you said sounded a lot less like love and a lot more like fucking, which leaves me with two questions. Number one, what the fuck made you think you could master the art of making love to this mom when your dumb ass didn't even know what I was thinking? <laughs> and then, I took another gulp of my drink, my ten parts vodka, one part cranberry, and I politely pointed to his smearing off. Question number two. What the fuck makes you think you can handle me when your dumb ass can't even handle hard alcohol? <laughs> and then, just for the record, because I had to, I reached down and grabbed that love Jones that he bragged about. Oh, hell no. It was just what I thought, no shaft and all balls. <laughs> so before I allowed him to wear what was left of my drink home, I told him, no, don't feel bad, brother. You wasn't all wrong. You was definitely right about your first statement. The best of you can only be between your legs, because right now you come off as a dick. Ooh.